This is one of the few places in Syria where the shells don't land and the sky is clear of danger. The hardship spreads through the olive groves, with families who have travelled from cities ravaged by war to this. These people are from all backgrounds, now united with one objective, to cross the Turkish border that's within their sight. But for most, it's out of reach for now, unless they have the money to pay people smugglers. Their numbers are steadily growing, and you can gauge the increases by the dire conditions. There's no United Nations help either. Children trying to burn putrid garbage, human excrement in so many places, because there are only four latrines shared by 5,000 people. Add to that the fact that the shelter here simply isn't adequate, and winter is only a few months away. The only valuable possession these people can call their own is safety. And that's the reason Bassem Hajkalid brought his family here. There's no roof over their heads. His wife, Hadil, is coping well. Her baby, Amina, is in good health for now. They fled Ma'ara Mizrin in Idlib province for the safety of their children. But unlike most of the families, Bassem doesn't want to leave Syria. In the theater, I say it, say it, I say it. What's happening to this girl? What's doing it? This child, what's doing it? Every child, what's he doing? This is our Islam. I have believed in this earth and love this sense, this place, okay? This is a Syrian people. This is our land, okay? I love it. But Bassem is in a small minority in wanting to stay. And here in schools used for refuge, they all want to go to Turkey. The only consolation is some semblance of peace. That gratitude most evident amongst the young. This child showing his shrapnel wound. When I was sleeping, the shilling would wake me up. I couldn't really sleep. I was terrified. I'm afraid of everything. The new arrivals continue along with the certainty of rain turning this camp into a quagmire and the threat of disease from poor sanitation. A forlorn acceptance of these conditions could so easily turn to anger. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Atma in Syria.